Hello and welcome to today's vlog, day number 32 of 365 days of running, 2017 <coughs> miles in this year. So, a bit of a wet one today. Um, this will be part one, hopefully. So this is part one, um, 6.5 miles done. <coughs> Just me and Jax today. How was it, Jax? Hard. Hard. Very hard today. So um, that will be part one, 6.5. We'll, uh, we'll talk about a little topic in a few seconds, um, just about your your challenge once it's done and how, when you look back at it, it changes. So we'll talk about that in a minute, but 6.5 done so far. And here we are for the evening part of today's run. So second part of today's run, 2.8 miles. So that's a total of 9.3 in total which um, I'm really happy with um, for today's uh, day number 32. So tonight's topic is one that I've been quite passionate about with a lot of clients before. Um, and that is in the sense of your previous challenge becomes a lot less dramatic. So what do I mean by that? So first of all, just to point out, anyone who gets into running or decides to do an event absolutely hands down fair play to them brilliant work and i love that people want to challenge themselves so don't take this the wrong way this is you know it's all relative to where you are so if you're only up at 5k now um it would still work the same if you're at 10k half marathon marathon ultra marathon whatever it is you're doing um this relatively works and worked for me throughout my process and my journey as well so your your previous challenge becomes a lot less dramatic and what I mean by that is, is that, for example, now, um, the Grim Reaper last year where I got to 56 miles and had to DNF, did not finish the race. That this year, that was quite dramatic for me. That was the maximum I'd ever gone for. Um, and that last year was really quite full on drama, like in my head and, and a little bit around me. But in terms of this year, it's now excitement. It's a lot less dramatic. Because you've stepped outside your comfort zone and you've learnt what's going on with it. So you're outside your comfort zone and now you're a lot less dramatic about it. So let's go back a step. So now when I go to a half marathon, with the utmost respect to anyone who is doing their first half marathon, I think it's great. I remember mine. It was so tough. So, so tough. But now when I go to a half marathon, it's nowhere near as much of a mental problem in my head as it was previously so with time and with progression your previous challenge always becomes a lot less dramatic it was just something a client pointed out yesterday and i thought it was worth bringing up to say that if you keep working hard and you keep persisting keep believing in yourself you will actually end up finding out that things do seem a lot less daunting and what used to be outside of your comfort zone is now in your comfort zone and you've made it your comfort zone so it's just a point i wanted to point out um, as far as today goes, what a great day. Absolutely great day. Real real, um, real office kind of day today. Um, lots of chair action today um, for me, but plenty done. So can't moan at all. But anyway, have a great day and I will see you tomorrow for day number 33. Take care. Bye-bye.